Um, and then at 28, the Raiders, Tyree Wilson pick, just hate it. I know like a lot of people were in love with Tyree Wilson. We didn't have a first round grade on him. He's way more developmental than expected. That being said, he shouldn't be thought of as a starter immediately. He probably sits behind Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, which is fine. It, ignoring a need, though, there was offensive line in there. There was corners. They That's the theme of this draft, and that's why they're not higher. There's some decent picks, but they ignore massive needs. Michael Mayer is a good tight end. We have him caught to Jason Witten, so we think he's going to be very good. Was he is he going to be that much better than Austin Hooper that you ignored the pressing needs of offensive line and corner? Maybe. It doesn't feel like it. Byron Young was not a third round prospect. He was a day three pick for me. Trey Tucker, there was other speed receivers. He's undersized. At best, he's a deep threat, but again, like it's a okay pick. Aiden O'Connell comp to Brian Hoyer, so that makes sense. Now the room is Jimmy G, Brian Hoyer, Brian Hoyer Jr. And then one of the picks we do like, though, is they were able to get Christopher Smith out of Georgia. Yeah, Smith is, and we've said it multiple times, was our safety one. His tape pops despite the size. It's incredibly shocking that he fell this far, but they did nail this pick. I was very sad to hear that the Raiders took him. Um, I would have liked to see him go elsewhere. But, um, I mean, again, the theme of the draft is that the Raiders ignore protecting the ever-injured Jimmy Garoppolo and a secondary that plays in the AFC West where every quarterback throws for almost 500 yards in divisional games. And most of it is the Raiders' fault. I mean, Jacorian Bennett is a fine fourth-round pick. I actually kind of liked him when I was watching Banks. Um, Didn't have a chance to watch him specifically, but he did stand out. But, like, come on. Bennett himself is not the answer to your cornerback room. Yeah, and it's worth, like, mentioning the Raiders. It doesn't feel like the Raiders got better in this draft. It really doesn't. They're going to get torched. The AFC West, assuming Sean Payton writes the ship, which it feels like he has so far with Denver, the Chargers, even with Staley as a head coach, should torch the Raiders. Like, it just – you can say, like, a solution to slowing down an offense is to rush the passer, but not when your secondary is a bunch of day three guys. Like, this is just – they didn't get better. And it's weird because McDaniels comes from New England, and New England prioritizes offensive line and corners. Like, it, it's it's wild to see – that how this is going so far for McDaniel's second tenure. It's just not going well. Uh, we expect McDaniel's I mean, we haven't really talked about this, but I would expect him to have the hottest seat to start the season. He's lucky, quite honestly, he has a job right now with everything that unfolded with car benching and then superstars like Adams and Josh Jacobs speaking out at the end of the year. Like he's he's very lucky he's even getting a second chance. Yeah, and Adams or uh, Jacobs didn't even sign his tender yet. They didn't draft the running back. It, it, I don't know. It, it's it I was mean, not had... Zamir, but like you would have hoped they would have added something else to. Yeah, that. we liked Zamir a lot, but you thought another running back could have at least sent a message. There was plenty of them available on day three. 